with my friend Carl Hendrik Nilsson. We only live a few kilometers from each other, yeah. but, but we only met at conferences and when recording podcasts at your home. Yeah, recording yeah. podcasts and... Uh, and videos. Yeah, <laughs> videos so, yeah. as well. So, yeah, fun to meet you here. Thank you. Well, it's nice to meet you here. Yeah. You had a session? I did. Today? I did. Uh, serverless design patterns, uh, 9.30 this morning. Okay, serverless for Azure, ABS. Azure functions. Yeah, you, you, you work for Microsoft, so probably... It would be about Azure. I, I think I would have had a very stern discussion with my manager if I came here and talked about AWS. Um, Maybe not why you <laughs> double. <laughs> no, okay. No, that would so, be fun either. Yeah, but um, can you give an example of some of the patterns that you talk about? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, I, I started doing this talk because I, I wanted to sort of show some of the things that people were struggling with. Uh, and, and so Azure Function has a, a lot of things you can do. So I go through basics of Azure Functions, a little bit what you can do with them. But what I specifically is trying to educate people about is the durable function. Okay. Because when we released Azure Functions many years ago, we said, oh, they're stateless. And then somebody come and said, but they have state. <laughs> and now we're, there's a bunch of different ways we can develop those. There's the fan in, fan out pattern where you sort of process a lot of things in, in parallel. Uh, very commonly used, for example, when you want to do uh, website crawling. Okay. So, so that's something we talk about and how, how durable function works and, and how, how easy it is to, to, to mess things up. Okay. That's, that's, not a, that's a pretty easy thing. And what's the biggest mistakes that people are doing when um, they're the, doing durable functions? Yeah, the most common mistake I see is that they... So in durable functions, you have the, the concept of uh, an orchestrator. So the, the most common thing I see is that they make their orchestrators not deterministic. So every time you do a wait in a durable function, it goes down and it goes into a, uh, it sort of sinks its state. Mm -hmm. So then it go, might go into a sleep mode and then when it comes back up, if it's not deterministic, well, now you're gonna have a different experience within this and it's gonna basically lock itself in an endless loop within. Okay. Uh, and very, very quickly, you're going you're gonna to have extraordinarily poor performance and, and a lot of those type of problems. So that's very common. Okay, what's the, what's the right way to do it? Well, you, you make sure that the, the, the flow within your orchestrator is always the same. And you make sure that it is the durable actions or the durable entities that do all the work. Uh, there's a very, very nice guide that Microsoft released, which is the Azure Function Developer um, uh, developer guide mm, okay uh, and that one sort of gives people quite a lot of, of help how to build uh, Azure functions uh, or durable functions in a, in a good way mm. okay I, I watched the beginning of your talk because I have to go to my session did you get bored no I didn't get bored but I had my session after you so I had some yeah, preparations I know, I know. to do so but now we're all both done now you have one Tomorrow too. Yeah, one uh, four uh, four o'clock tomorrow morning. Four o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow sorry. morning. Four o'clock tomorrow early. morning. <laughs> yeah, because your room was packed of people. Yeah, they had to turn away. They said a hundred to a hundred and fifty people. So I'm I'm a bit. Uh, it's gonna do very bad things for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what I heard during those minutes, where I was there, taking some photos and of you, and that was that the mistake people do is that they follow the Microsoft documentation. Can you explain that more? Uh, so there is, there is the documentation that you go, if you go into reading the documentation of the Microsoft Azure Functions, it's very easy to become confused because they take up so many concepts. Okay. So if you read, for example, the Azure Function documentation and you try to apply that to a durable function, it's going to have some, um, what do you call it? It's, it's going to have some things that are, that are not consistent because you build the Azure Function, you have to think in one way to build the durable functions because now you have state and you have... Um, uh, an entire subsystem for calling things. Um, so, so, so you really have to be aware of sort of what part of the documentation you are leaning on because the durable function documentation is going to lead you down one path and the Azure function documentation is going to be a bit different. Okay. So it, it, and, and it's not always super clear what we're meaning because we have multiple names for a lot of things because it's been very rapidly developing. So sometimes people call an Azure function uh, for a, a, when you actually mean a durable function. And I think it's very important to do that mistake because it's very hard to see if it's a durable action or if it's an actual function, except for that's okay. a durable context. Uh, but also a lot of people call um, 
entity functions, or they also call them durable entities. Um, and, and then you have uh, the concept of entities within Azure Functions. So there's a lot of things where you can sort of just really get confused. So it's, it's, it's very important to be aware of what you're reading when you're reading the documentation and, and, and thinking about it. Okay, so but what is the best way to handle documentation? To read all of it and then evaluate? Uh, I mean, if I go to me, myself, I read the first part of the documentation, then I try it. If it not works, I go to the next part of the documentation. So. Yeah, uh, and, and, and I think that's normally my, my use case as well. I do like you, I, 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 I read a little bit, I get bored. Oh, I want to code, I want to try something. Yeah. Uh, but when, specifically when it comes to durable functions, I think the, uh, the Azure Durable Function Developer Guide is a really good thing to, to read mm. uh, when you're doing it, because otherwise you're going to, um, uh, otherwise you're, you're going to have a bad time doing durable functions. So, okay. so yeah, that's something I, you probably want to think about doing. Yeah, okay. So anything else that you want to share from your session? Well, I had a good time. I had a good time. Yeah, I really I like the, the, the Tecorama conference here in Belgium. Yeah, it's a really, really nice conference. It's well organized. Uh, it's fun with this jungle yeah, theme. Yeah, with this jungle. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really cool. It's really nice. So uh, I really recommend everyone to get here. If yeah, you check, it chance, out. check out the conference. Check out the conference, yeah. All right, talk to you later. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much for joining me for this short conference chat or talk or what we should call it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man.